There were tears and uh, jubilation in Bloemfontein when the SANDF welcomed a troop contingent back from the troubled Democratic Republic of Congo. The mission is uh, sanctioned by the United Nations as part of uh, keeping peace operations. Our reporter Tabi Sohadebe attended. This is where the South African National Defence Force was welcoming about uh, 800 to 1,000 uh, soldiers who went to do a, who completed their mission in uh, the eastern side of the Democratic Republic of Congo. They are here, and the sense of excitement uh, for excitement for the soldiers who are back in the country in, in into the South Africa. But with me here to explain the mission, how did they complete their mission? Is uh, General Tabi Somohosi, uh, who's going to talk to us about. Uh, uh, the, the return of the soldiers and their welcoming uh, uh, ceremony today. Uh, thank, thank you for your time, uh, General. Just tell us about the mission. Um, we told that uh, they completed a year in uh, the DRC. Just explain to us uh, uh, this mission. The mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo is, in a, is a United Nations mission, which South Africa is but one of the countries that are participating in ensuring peace and uh, prosperity in the in the Democratic Republic of Congo. We've sent a unit from Seven Sign, which consisted of about 850 members who were embarked in this mission uh, over the period. Their main objectives or task one was to protect the civilians in the Dem Democratic Republic of Congo. Secondly, to ensure that they repel the rebels who are attacking the vulnerable communities of Congo thirdly to ensure that there's normal livelihood that takes place within the communities of Congo. One would like to say this battalion, as others before it, has successfully done that duty. They are back home now without casualties or injuries. They've been involved in multiple different battles and operations within the Republic of Congo where lives were lost. Because of their professional and military and advanced military training, they've managed to execute their duties to the best of their ability. Mm. Last time we were here and there were uh, other soldiers who were sent back to, who were going back to uh, the DRC. And now we're talking about uh, today's ceremony, where about 800. Just tell us about the numbers here. How many uh, soldiers uh, are you taking to the DRC for their uh, mission? Currently we'll be sending about 800 soldiers which is the, the group that will be rotating or replacing 7 Sai. 7 Sai was sent with about 850 soldiers. Due to budget cuts within the United Nations, countries were then required to reduce their numbers. We had to reduce the numbers from 850 to, to, to 800. This is what we have done. Currently, the grouping that is going, which uh, the first two flights have gone in will be 800 members who are coming from two South African infantry battalions. Mm. Do we have uh, casualties from the South African side? As I've already alluded, during the past uh, two years we've been deployed. We've never had uh, 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 casualties, even in fatalities or in normal uh, uh, casualties of wound or whatever. Earlier on, we've, we've listened to different speeches here, and uh, earlier on, there are uh, uh, other comments that speeches that uh, soldiers who are coming back need to be integrated back to their families, to their communities. To their communities. What's, your, what's your take? What's your comment on that? We've got a, uh, a program that is planned for that, which is, we call it the post-deployment uh, 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 process, which is the demobilization process. In that process, we engage our soldiers in a multidisciplinary uh, 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 endeavor of uh, psychologists, social workers, and all the disciplines that are, are, are linked in ensuring that our people are properly brought into the paces of the, the, the current situation at their, fam at, at, their fam at their families. So there's a, a social psychological program that they're going to go through whilst they're here, immediately they arrive. We also debrief the whole operation, the different battles that they got involved in, 
the different scenarios that they go through 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 in so that we we, we we try as far as possible to take that away from them so they'll be going through that process whilst they're here before they go back home thank you very much uh, for your time major general major general tabiso omohosi talking to us about the success story in the in the Demo Democrat democratic republic of congo in the uh, drc there was a ceremony here today to welcome about 800 soldiers who have completed uh, their uh, mission